Listen, you tired of making them ribs the same old way on the grill, barbecue sauce? Man, I'm finna show you how to step your game up with these grilled chili lime ribs. Listen, you don't wanna miss this one. Get in your kitchen, let's go. All right, so let's do a quick rundown of what we have. Back here we have our ribs. Now I'm losing the St. Louis ribs. You can use regular spare ribs, baby back ribs, country ribs, whatever your preference is or whatever you have in your refrigerator, this recipe works for it. Right here we have ground oregano, seasoned salt, lime juice, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, some canola oil here, lime zest, black pepper, cumin, and we have cayenne pepper here. So this is what we have, let's get to it. We're gonna start off by making our chili lime mixture, and all we're gonna do is start adding our dry ingredients here to this bowl. We have our chili powder, our garlic powder, onion powder, seasoned salt, black pepper, ground oregano, cumin, lime zest, cayenne pepper, our canola oil, and lime juice. And we're just gonna give that baby a mix just like this. All right, just like that, let's continue. All right, now we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna start seasoning up our ribs. Now save some of the mixture for when you actually put these ribs on the grill. You wanna baste it in some of this mixture, so at least save you about a fourth of a cup. So we're gonna start adding this here. I've already removed the membrane off the back, so we won't have to worry about that. We're gonna start rubbing this in here like that. All right, y'all see what we have right there? And I'm gonna take some saran wrap and we're gonna get this baby wrapped up just like that. I'm gonna take another piece. So guys, this is what we have. I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. You can leave it up there for two days, let those uh, seasonings and its marinade settle in, and then we're gonna head out to the grill, all right? I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a chili lime sauce for basting. So right here we have some freshly squeezed lime juice. Right here I have some pork broth. If you don't have pork broth, just use chicken stock. I just took a, a, a pork bouillon cube, as I always do, two cups of water, sprinkle the cube in there and let it boil until it creates me this pork flavored broth. Typically when I'm cooking pork and I need a broth, I like to use the pork style broth versus the chicken stock, but chicken stock does work. Um, right here we have garlic, salt, some chopped cilantro, some lime zest, chili powder, black pepper, and right here we have some serrano chilies chopped. If you have any other green type chilies that you like to use, go ahead and use those too. Even if you want to put some jalapenos in there, you can also use jalapeno. And right here we have some sugar. So these are the ingredients. Let's get to it. All right, so all we're going to do is start adding our ingredients into our blender, our garlic cloves, salt, sugar, our lime zest, chili powder, cilantro, black pepper, serrano, serrano peppers, our pork broth, and our lime juice. We're just going to cover this up. I'll put the top on it, and we're just gonna pulse this. All right, guys, looks like we are good. And we're just gonna pull this into this measuring cup. And guys, I'm gonna use this sauce as the ribs are cooking, I'm gonna use this to base it so we keep those ribs juicy as they cook along. All right, guys, so I pulled out our ribs, unwrapped them. They've been in the refrigerator marinating for two days. I wanted to set them out and let them come down to room temperature before I add them to our grill. Man, look at that. That flavor is in there. It's set. So I'm going to go ahead and get the grill started up, and then we're going to get these babies on the grill, all right? All right, guys, so I ran into a card error right when I was recording us putting this on the grill, so it didn't capture me putting it on the grill, but I just put these ribs here on the grill, we're gonna, I cut them in half. I want them to cook indirect heat, add a couple wood chips, and we're gonna cover them up. We're gonna let them cook for about 30 minutes, untouched, and then we're gonna come right back, all right? All right, guys, I know I said we were gonna let them cook for 30 minutes, but I decided to go ahead and let these babies cook for one hour. So I had them on here for about 60 minutes. We're gonna remove our top. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove our ribs right now. 
And I'm gonna add them to this plate right here. Just like that. Take a look what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and get this covered back up because we wanna keep that hot. And we're gonna run over to our kitchen. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Just add a little of that sauce here. Just like that. I'm gonna take that slab of ribs. Place it meat side down. I'm gonna fold that up like this. And again, guys, I'm gonna place another piece of foil around it because we don't want any leakage. And we're gonna take these babies back out on the grill, all right? So let's get over to the grill. All right, so we're gonna place these back on the grill. Cover it up for additional 30 minutes, all right? All right, guys, so we've had this on for 30 minutes. We're just going to remove our lid. We're gonna remove our ribs from the grates. We're gonna close it back up and we're gonna keep it hot because we're gonna come right back, all right? All right, so we're gonna let our ribs rest right here for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna unwrap them out of the foil and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna remove our foil. Now we're gonna take these back to the grill, kind of get a little char on them. Probably take about five to 10 minutes, and then we'll come right back to our cutting board. And this is what we have after about 10 minutes on the grill, getting that nice little char on them. All right, so let's get into our final presentation and quality control. There you have it guys, grill chili lime rib. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control because I'm ready to taste this baby out. Y'all ready? Let's get to it. All right, we're back in here. Quality control. I have one of my ribs here, man. You can see them back there. They sitting on that cutting board. I'm gonna get to them. I just wanted to bring one up to you. You guys take a look at that. Oh man. Mm, chums all ribs. Mm. Oh God. Mm. Oh man. Wow. I don't even know what to say. It's like, you baby good. Mm. I just have to grab me another one. Listen, these babies are delicious. Oh. Mm. Listen, guys, put this at the top of your list. You'll thank me later. I know I'm the wing king, I'm not the grill king. But I did my thing on this one. So until then, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. Remember, I'm not a chef. Just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace.